We are telling young people not to get married, and we're saying that if you have children, it could be an existential threat to the climate. And hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good, guys. Today we're going to be reacting to three fundamental rights every young American deserves, guys. Without wasting much time, let's get right down to this. The left, as we can see, has really serious positions for the future. They have really serious opinions and hopes and visions for the future of the U.S. Um, serious enough that they're willing to organize into groups of hundreds and break things and burn things down. And we on the right, that gives us lots of time to talk about it and make fun of it and, you know, make compilations and whatnot. And what is our vision for the future? What are we willing yeah. to get that passionate it's about. a great Maybe question so windows. three really basic yeah. things that i think should be a commitment to the next generation it should be easy and celebrated to get married have children and be able to own property in this country it should be a moral sure. guarantee to the next generation to be able to do those three things it's good for everybody it anchors you in responsibility right right now it is harder than ever to buy a home in america thanks to inflation and thanks to all this nonsense that's happening we are telling young people not to get married and we're saying that if you have children it could be an existential threat to the climate and we wonder why this is the most depressed suicidal anxious alcohol addicted and medicated generation in history those three things should be a core social compact i could go i could go through list by list though right i want a country that cares more about our borders than the borders of a foreign country i want a country that makes stuff that is critical to our national sovereignty and our future, such as vitamin C, penicillin. I want to see less kids addicted to pornography. I want to see more people outside. I want to see people spending less time on their phones. I think we should, we should entertain at least the spirit of a national week day of rest. I think we should have a day where we slow down. I think that we're able to get Uber Eats quicker than ever before. We're able to get medication we want. We have more ease and convenience that we're more miserable than ever before. Why don't we actually tolerate? We don't have to do laws, even though laws might be a good idea, where we just rest for a day. We used to call these blue laws, where everything kind of slows down. We spend time with loved ones. You don't look at the phone all day long. Maybe your favorite restaurant isn't open that day. Maybe you actually have to cook for yourself. I want that country. I want a country that actually is purposeful in our action, in our community, that is more local than it is corporate, that focuses more on the family than some abstract ideology. That's what I think we as conservatives need to fight for and fight for vigorously while they do all the nonsense that they do. Guys, that was really good, like really good. And I, I'm going to deliberate more on the getting married aspect because I feel like our present day society, a lot of people in the Gen Z generation just happen to not want to get married. I mean, I keep asking my friends, do you think you're going to get married? And they're like, ah. How can you be thinking about marriage? That marriage is not even on their mind. Like most of them are like, nah, I'm not getting married. So long as I have a child, like they are good to go. But like at the same time, it just it just feels feels very wrong because even in this generation, the rate of divorce is something else. But I feel like it should be you know, among things we hope and plan for, now you should be among it, like starting a family because it's, it's just nice to have someone you love and then raise your kids, like just start a good family, like that's, that's really, really healthy and I can tell you for a fact that family is everything because no matter what goes wrong, like you always have your family so like family is really a great thing, I mean I'm grateful to God for my family every day of my life. So I feel like that should be in the mind of people in this generation. But it's more like things have become way easier for us. I mean, technology has advanced and things keep getting easier every day. But it's not just helping the betterment of people. It's not, it's not helping the society because the more things get better, like by technology, the more the world becomes a crazy place and I just feel like I agree with Charlie when he says we need to slow down like just let one day be a day off for everybody stay at home have, have a great quality time with the people you love cook something just just slow down like people are on their phones you literally go to a space where you have youth or teenagers and what are they doing for all day even adults young adults they are on their phone all day people are working tirelessly the people who work they don't even come home i have i have a friend who 
only sees her dad like on weekends, like just Sunday because they go to church together. But from Monday, he leaves the house as early as um. That was when we were much younger though. But he leaves the house for work as early as should I say um five a.m. and they were not awake because of traffic. He leaves the house and he comes back late at night when they've gone to bed. So imagine not seeing your dad. It's more like you're just always around your mom. They don't have their connection with their dad because they only get to see him on Sunday and even Sunday sometimes he's tired. He needs to rest, he doesn't go to church with them. Sometimes they call him at work or like he has to go out. So all these things like you need to slow down. People need to take a chill pill. That's why I really advise people to try to take days off from what you do and like even if you don't want to spend time with anyone like like you yourself, you need a break. Trust me, you need a break. There are people who work like that's all they know how to do. But believe me, everybody needs a break sometimes. But guys, you tell me what you think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys.